Well, it, it does a number of things. One is you're working to one common database now. Everyone's working to the same. If you think about it from a datum standpoint, that same digital datum that design uses as a reference point with their designs, we use from a manufacturing process standpoint. The maintainers and sustainers from a maintenance standpoint, how do they reference into that same datum? So we're not recreating uh, databases, whether they're digital or paper. Uh, it's all constructed around that same digital thread throughout the entire design to realization with actual hardware, product hardware, through field maintenance, field upgrades, when we make changes and modernization uh, to the product itself, it still goes back to those same digital references, so we save all of that efficiency, uh, we realize all of that efficiency, save all of that redundant work that goes into recreating those and as it has in the past. Uh, the other the other real benefit that, that that brings us is that now we can avoid the use of hard tooling and actually reduce the cost of hard tooling. Can't eliminate it totally. There are certain particularly sensitive or, or critical uh, sub-assemblies that have to come together in exact true positioning uh, at tolerances that really require a, a gauged assembly or a pinned assembly to verify it indeed is aligned, but you eliminate a lot of the external tooling to position things because you already know that uh, the digital datum that has actually come through the design is employed within the numerical control of the positioning equipment that we use, whether it's laser alignment numerically controlled machining or drilling processes goes right back to that digital thread as, as opposed to drilling templates for instance. So we've eliminated all of that cost, all of the maintenance of uh, keeping and storing and moving and upgrading those tools over the life of the program.